unfortunately, we don't have to go too far back in history to see firsthand how financial reporting fraud can harm our capital markets. I'm referring to the fraud scandals in the early 2000s, which led to massive disruption in the capital markets and more importantly, investor trust in those markets. While the financial reporting frauds were limited to a handful of public companies, the damage impacted everyone who was invested in the US, from the large institutional investors all the way down to everyday Americans through their 401ks. Financial uh, fraud has threatened the underlying fabric of markets in the past. If we think about the early 2000s, uh, companies were failing that shouldn't have failed based on their financial reports that came in recently. A lot of that was because people were manipulating their financial statements, inflating their assets, recording revenue that wasn't theirs, not including expenditure that should have been, or having liabilities that belong to the company sitting off balance sheet. The tools to fight fraud have substantially strengthened over the past 20 years. Transformational financial reporting regulation in the United States through the Sarbanes-Oxley Act increased public company management's accountability for fraud prevention, as well as increased the external auditor's independence. Auditors are focused on a number of different areas. First off, we perform very robust risk assessments, including conducting interviews with people throughout the entire company, assessing management's fraud risk, which is a really important piece of what we do, and running analytical procedures as appropriate under the standards, just to understand where fraud risk might exist. So auditors are focused on exercising professional skepticism, on executing the fundamental audit procedures, and in collecting robust evidence based on that robust risk assessment that we do. In addition, auditors are increasingly leveraging data and technology to fight fraud. With new automation technology, auditors are moving from sampling just small subsets of information to larger sets of information and even complete data sets. In specific cases, auditors are even applying technology like machine learning to effectively, effectively evaluate documents for specific terms or, or phrases. This kind of innovation, this kind of use of technology comes alongside changing the nature of the audit profession. More skill set in the knowledge around fraud schemes, financial reporting, fraud and response is something which is necessary and which universities, the state boards of accounting and the CPA profession is investing in. And then continuing being alert to and responding to the flags when they exist having the real professional skepticism necessary to reach in and to persist until we unpack what's happened, chase down what is wrong, have that properly reported, and bring to the attention of those charged with governance circumstances that just need to be radically rethought within countries. Auditors are fulfilling their responsibility to fight fraud under the U.S. auditing standards, but fraud, deterrence, and detection is a shared responsibility. It requires extreme diligence from all the parties in the financial reporting system, whether it's the regulators, external and internal auditors, audit committees and other board members, as well as, and most importantly, public company management, who ultimately have the responsibility for designing and implementing programs and controls to deter and detect fraud. The outcome of auditors' efforts to fight fraud really starts with sustaining audit quality, which includes robust execution, of fundamental audit procedures that seek to detect material misstatements from fraud. And that's very critical to our role in protecting and serving the capital markets. Audit quality remains our highest priority and it's critical to fulfilling our role in capital markets. We are seeing regulators in other countries, particularly in the UK and other countries in Europe, considering establishing their own laws and regulations with provisions that are similar to the Sarbanes-Oxley Act here in the United States. Innovation by auditors and other financial stakeholders in the U.S. will continue to improve our ability to deter and detect fraud in the future.